Yo, what's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about different ways of getting paid as an artist, so let's go. So you're, you're an artist and you're trying to get paid and there's many ways of getting paid as an artist. And I'm gonna go through a couple of them that I encounter uh, most frequently. And the first one is cash. So cash is basically the easiest way of getting paid as an artist. The only thing about cash I would say is that you wanna make sure you keep records of that. So that means you can give an invoice or you can give a receipt or something like that. Mainly because I keep meticulous records of uh, my cash flow so I know how much is coming in and how much is going out in terms of uh, how much do I need from that payment that I get to buy supplies so I know how much expenses is coming out of that cash that I just got. So that's cash. The second way of receiving cash that I encounter all the time is checks. Checks are basically kind of like a promise note that if I give you this piece of paper, you can go to the bank and there will be cash waiting for you that will come out of that bank account that I have. Because of the nature of checks, uh, that is almost like a promise. You wanna make sure that if you're not familiar with the buyer um, or don't have a relationship with that buyer, that you make sure you get a, a, the full payment up front. Mainly because you don't wanna do the work and then try to cash a check later on and have it bounce. So when you're using or when you're receiving payment through a check, um, you wanna really make sure that uh, you cash it first or you get the full uh, payment of the piece first before you cash it or you cash it before you deliver the actual piece. So the last and the easiest way I think for a lot of artists to get paid is with electronic payment systems. One is that it's the easiest way for artists to accept credit cards and debit cards. Not a lot of people walk around with cash these days so it's kind of like, you know what, you have to have a way for people to pay with a credit or debit card. Next, it's very professional. When you're using electronic payment systems, you can actually send out a nice invoice rather than just scribbling on a napkin or something like that or having a handshake is really professional to have something that has a record of all of the transactions. You can get organized. So a lot of artists are kind of like uh, scattered and using an electronic payment system allows artists to actually uh, have a record of all their transaction and actually get organized. Payment system companies are now actually giving a lot of people equipment. So now they're providing a lot of support for you to look even more professional while trying to accept payments. So a lot of times they'll send you a little card reader. That card reader allows you to actually just run a credit or debit card and receive payment that way. So a lot of times you'll receive equipment that can support you in your art uh, ventures. So for some electronic payment system, you can actually tie them to bank accounts. So like my PayPal and my QuickBooks um, Go payment system is actually tied to my bank account. So when I get paid, it goes directly to my bank account and my bank account talks to my uh, accounting books. So now everything is automatically recorded. So a lot of times it is really easy to take payments and have everything um, kind of add up. So when you're doing taxes or you're trying to figure out how much you actually made at the end of the day, it is really easy. So this is a lot better than uh, cash sometimes when it comes to the paperwork behind the scenes. There is a drawback to using electronic payment systems. Unlike cash, electronic payment system companies make their money by charging fees. So a lot of the fees can be one to 4% of the total transaction. So if it's 4% and you make a sale for uh, $1,000, well guess what, you're paying $40 of that. So there can be some drawbacks to using electronic payment system. So go through the list below that I provided. There's some of the most common electronic payment systems like PayPal and QuickBooks. And just check out uh, their website, do your homework, uh, check out the fine print, read it, uh, make sure you know what they're about to charge, what other charges they may have, if you can tie it to a bank account, things like that, because that will definitely help you out. So these are some of the most common ways of getting paid as an artist. Um, don't disregard any of them. I use all of them uh, in different amounts, 
um, but the main thing is that I have uh, a way of getting paid for every situation. That's what you want. You want to be able to get paid in every situation, mainly because you have to make sure you keep that cash flow coming in so you can keep creating that art that you want to do, right? Um, so definitely make sure you check out the list and make sure you check out some of the other videos that I have. I'll be doing more of these business type videos when it comes to the, uh, the art of business and the business of art, okay? Peace.